Shalom everybody, welcome to the Israel Brief, your date every Monday to Thursday with me, Rolene Marks, bringing you those top stories and making headlines in Israel. And as always, the Israel Brief is brought to you by Lay of the Land. Now I ask for a little forgiveness today, I'm fighting a bit of the flu, so if I sound a bit strange, that is the reason. But that's not why you called. Let's take a look at those top stories and we begin with the European Union where it was announced yesterday that Israel has signed the Historic Horizon Agreement to join major European countries in the largest R&D uh, agreement in the world. Foreign Minister Yair Lapid said that this was a major diplomatic achievement between Israel and the European Union and will allow for the country to cooperate with our European partners in a variety of fields, but more specifically scientific and economic. So we look forward to many, many exchanges of technology, knowledge and skills. Israel leads in many different areas such as water technology, cyber security and various others and this will really propel Israeli businesses and Israel even further on the international stage. We now go to the Gaza Strip where terror organization Hamas have said that they are contemplating escalating or renewing violence. The reason for this is they say that Egypt has failed them in providing rehabilitation for the strip that was promised following the recent flare-up between Israel and terror entities in May. Hamas spokesperson speaking to Al Jazeera said that the terror organization is not impressed with uh, Egypt and their role as mediator and are contemplating renewing violence. Meanwhile, it was also announced by Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz that uh, construction on a subterranean and above ground barrier, which has been under construction for three and a half years and has cost billions of dollars, uh, designed to prevent terror tunnels from gaining any access into Israeli territory, has been complete. This follows news that a Hamas terrorist was killed when a terror terror tunnel he was helping to construct yesterday collapsed on him. Now we're all familiar with social media and that it is becoming an increasingly difficult area uh, for people to voice their opinions and opens many people up to online bullying. Well, President Herzog, who will be joined by a variety of celebrities, members of Knesset, sports stars, has signed an agreement with Meta, that's the holding company for Facebook, to participate in an anti-bullying campaign. The president has said online discourse has become uh, absolutely untenable of late and that people abuse each other violently and unrestrained and he will be leading this initiative to help combat cyberbullying. I personally hope that this kind of campaign can spread to other parts of the world uh, where people needlessly tear into people who they have opposing viewpoints on. Let's see how this goes. And our final story is very, very touching. Some of you may be familiar with the hard rock band Disturbed. Uh, they had a massive hit covering Simon and Garfunkel's Sounds of Silence and the raspy deep voice of their lead singer, uh, David Dryman, is very, very distinctive. Well, David Dryman, who's very, very proudly Jewish and very proudly Zionist, was extremely upset about the news of the recent murder of Ellie Kay, um, who came from Modi Inn and originally came from South Africa uh, on his way to either pray or to work where he worked at the Kotel in the Old City. Dryman says that the news coverage was absolutely appalling. Many news channels uh, choosing to say a Palestinian killed instead of explaining uh, the uh, events that led up to this and that this was in fact a terror attack that claimed the life of a 25-year-old man. Dryman said from his home in Hawaii that uh, he had every intention of coming to Jerusalem to light a candle in memory of Kay. 
Well, he did exactly that. And last week he landed in Israel following the footsteps uh, of uh, Eli Kay, where he eventually lit a candle. Now, many of you might be thinking, how come he's a foreigner allowed into the country? Well, he is uh, also holds uh, Israeli citizenship and as per our agreement was allowed into the country. So those are our top stories making headlines, but you can read more about how people have been dedicating uh, mitzvot, how they've been sharing their light uh, in memory of, of L.E.K. by checking out our website at www.layoftheland.online. It's also on our Facebook page at Lottle site. If you haven't joined our community, please like us or follow us. And uh, we're on the uh, YouTube. Our channel is called The Israel Brief. And if you're watching this there, please click on the subscribe button. Consider liking and sharing our content. And we're on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. That's at Lay of the Land 5. So with the Tuesday edition of The Israel Brief, I'm a slightly croaky Rolly Marks, but we'll join each other for your top stories again tomorrow.